Hello, this is Jerry Jenkins. Since the uh, Java JDK is the software you need to develop Java and write programs, uh, this is a short video to show you an easy way to install uh, the Open JDK, which I think is a little easier to set up than the uh, one directly from Oracle. Uh, part of that is because what we're going to do is install it into a directory from a zip file and just move it over to the system area, which is very straightforward. If you want to delete it, you just delete that directory. And then we have to make two entries in what are called environmental variables. And we'll show you a fast way of doing that. So first, you want to go to this website. I'm in Edge on uh, Windows 10. So you go to jdk.java.net slash 12, or whatever the most current version is. If you go to 12, it'll tell you over here the most current version and in archive are all the old versions. So 12 is the current version of Java JDK. So now down here you'll see install for Linux and there's a zip file. So we're going to we're going to just download this and this will take a little time. I'll speed it up on the video. Okay, it's finished downloading. So I'm going to hit open folder. That takes me to my downloads folder. It's a zip file. And the simplest thing to do is just to unzip it directly in the downloads. So to do that, we'll just uh, right click and say extract all. And just hit extract. OK. Now once it's extracted, you'll see the single folder. This is the one we want to move to the system area. So what we're going to do is move this uh, window to the side. And then get uh, the other window here to downloads. And so we're going to go to uh, local disk and open that. And uh, there's two areas where system files are put. Uh, this is for 32-bit files, which are older type applications. This is a 64-bit file. So we'll open up program files. And we need to create a place for this, and typically it's called Java. So we're going to right click down here and say create a new folder. And we're going to type in the name Java and hit enter. And then hit enter to open it. And now we're going to just drag this folder over to the Java folder. And that'll move that folder. Uh, we have to OK that. OK, so now we have it set up. Uh, what we want to do is go into this folder, and let me make this window bigger so you can see. And you'll see this up here is the path uh, to where we are. And what we have to do is go inside the bin directory. So the bin directory has all the executables that are needed for Java, and we're going to need that path in the environmental variables. So rather than write all this down or or do something, we're just going to go up here to the address area and copy the address. And then we're going to open up a, a settings area. Now to get to the settings area in old computers, let me just show you how you would do it in old computers. Uh, well, actually, I already have this. You would go to uh, local disk and, uh, well, not local disk, you would go to uh, my piece, this PC or my computer, and you go to properties and then you would go to advanced settings and then you would find environmental variables which is where we want to end up uh, but on Windows 10 there's a faster way to do that I'm just going to close everything uh, uh, just go to the search area and type environmental variables and as soon as you type enough and you should see this thing that says edit the system environmental variables. So you just click that and it takes you right to that place and then you click on environmental variables and uh, there's two places you can set environmental variables. These variables are required by programs that are going to use Java so they can find where is Java because you could have chose a different folder name or put it in a different place. Uh, there's a user level which would only work if you're logged in and there's a system level which will work for any user that's logged into the system. I'm going to do the system level variable, but you can use either one. And what we want to do is find where it says path. So path 
If we look at it, it has paths of places for a program to search for programs. So this is basically if you're in the command line or PowerShell and you type in the name of a program, this is where it's going to look for it. So it's the same place that an IDE uh, like uh, Eclipse would look for Java. So what we're going to edit the path. Now a few years ago they changed how this works. So now it gives you all the paths it searches for and we're going to add a new path. Uh, the old way would be this way. When you say edit text it shows you all the same information but they're all strung out in one little small box with colons uh, between, here's a colon, between the different paths. So what they've done is made it easier to use. Uh, let's go back into it. In the a couple few years ago, they made it easier to use in this system, so you don't see the semicolons. It automatically puts every path on a separate line. Now you remember we copied the address from the bin folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make a new area, and then we're going to right click there and say paste, and it's going to paste in that address. So if you if you were messing around and you didn't get that, just go back to the 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 uh, uh, the, the file finder and go back into that bin folder off of program files Java and then right click on the address and copy it. Now we need one more thing in here. Uh, this is done but the other thing we want to do is move this up to the top. You may already have Java installed and by moving this to the top it's going to make it the one it finds first. So you just select that and move it all the way up to the top and say OK. We're going to add a new uh, system variable called Java Home and this is also needed for programs so we're going to say uh, new and we're going to type in Java underscore home and this is normally all uppercase and then click in the variable value and we're going to do a paste again so we're going to paste that path but this time we don't want the bin path the Java Home is where the JDK is so we're going to backspace to delete the word bin. So we just have the name of the last folder, uh, which is the JDK folder, and hit OK. And that's all you have to do to set everything up. If you go to some of my later videos I'm going to create, I will then show you how to use this. To make sure it's there, though, you can go into PowerShell. So I just typed in power from the search box, or POW, hit Enter, and type in Java dash dash version and it should say version 12 which is what we just installed and you can say Java C which is the compiler dash dash uh, version and hit enter and it'll say that we're running Java 12.1 if it didn't have that you would get something like if you typed in some command it didn't know you get something that looks like this all in red so if you, your install didn't work those two commands wouldn't work uh, so that's it for this video uh, go on and look at how to install uh, the JetBrains uh, IntelliJ uh, IDE that uh, is the one I recommend. Please subscribe to my channel. You'll see an icon in the lower right to do that.